Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have G.I. Joe Classified Series Deluxe Snow Serpent. And as you can see, it comes in that typical eco-friendly style packaging, but this packaging is pretty big because he's a deluxe figure. And the artwork on this package looks awesome. Now, Snow Serpent is 93 from the Classified Series line. And let's go ahead and get Snow Serpent out of the box. Diving into Snow Serpent's accessories, we get a backpack that we've seen before. This backpack and bazooka rounds we've seen with bazooka. This is cast in black plastic with some white, well, it's like grayish white paint. The bazooka rounds are in gray plastic, and they are individual rounds that can be removed, so that's pretty cool. We've got the hooks down there, and that's for, obviously, the bazooka. Bazooka has the white-ish gray accents, a navy blue strap which is nice, and of course it opens up on the back just like the original one did with Bazooka. So this is a cool thing. I do like the Bazooka and how it hangs from the bottom of the backpack. You know, you just get it on these little hooks, and it dangles, and that's cool. I just wish we would have got the mortar that came with the original figure. The original Snow Serpent figure came with a mortar and not a Bazooka. So hopefully the Retro card will have that, and most likely it will. But this is still a cool substitution. Continuing with the weaponry, Snow Serpent comes with a pretty nice knife. It's sculpted pretty well. It's cast in black plastic. The only downside I would say is it doesn't really have a sheath to go in. It doesn't have a home. So with the figure, you know, if you want all your figures to carry everything, we got to find a place to put this, which I did. So the bazooka itself <laughs> is a great place to put it because it opens up. You can actually just drop the knife right in there. You won't lose it. Close it up. It has a pinhole there, so it's not going to fall out as much as you shake it because it's not going to fit through that hole. And then through the front, yeah, there's that big hole, but it's not going to go through that either. The Snow Serpents are such badasses that we get two pistols. They don't just get one sidearm. They get two. So we get two Glock-looking pistols. They got the muzzle flash hole and everything like that. And uh, it's awesome because he has holsters on each side of his leg for these pistols. So your Snow Serpent's definitely going to have some firepower. One of Snow Serpent's primary weapons is this assault rifle. And it's done pretty well. It has the grenade launcher on the bottom. Sculpt work is there. The stock looks really nice on it. And the barrel looks cool. We got the rail system on top. We got ports for the top and the bottom of the the uh, gun so you got the barrel and the grenade launcher barrel on the bottom the magazine looks cool except when you take it out you it just gets super thin i guess there's sort of a round in there no nah, not really but they have to make it like super thin in order to fit into the gun to make it look right which you know it is what it is but the assault rifle looks good the final weapon we get is this submachine gun looking type of gun. And honestly, this could be used as like a laser weapon with how the barrel like flares out at the end. But uh, what's awesome about it is it pretty much looks like an MP40. Has optic on the top. Um, and we got the skinny magazine. And this magazine, when it slides out, stays the same girth. You know, practically same girth. And uh, it looks great. Has the muzzle flash hole for those effects, but this gun looks awesome as well. And of course, if you're going to be an Arctic soldier, you're going to have some snowshoes. These are basically the same snowshoes we got with Snow Job, just in that white plastic. And uh, the snowshoes are always great. They look good. They got the texture on the bottom. And uh, yeah, snowshoes for the win. I just wish we had a spot to like hang them up on the backpack. Definitely diving into one of the more unique items that he comes with, which definitely pays homage to the Snow Serpent version 2. We do get a snowboard. It has the Cobra logo looking clean up there. We got like a texture of like a gripping for the shoes to clip in. I thought these would like rotate, but they are stationary in those positions. And it just, it's awesome. It's a snowboard to get your snow serpent to be doing some tricks. We got some camo there. We got a logo that looks freaking cool. I really like how that looks. Because you got like this snake wrapping around like the mountain and everything. And again, just like the camo 
it's it's cool. Again, it's paying homage to that version two Snow Serpent, and plus you can get your uh, Snow Serpents doing some crazy Sean White tricks or something like that. Now we get to dive into some special garb that the Snow Serpent comes with, and it's the wolf pelt, the hood, we got the goggles. And the reason I sort of kept it all as one piece, because these are three different pieces, is inside the actual hood here. And I will show you, so you got those cool goggles. But if you pop it, you can see there's a slot inside. Like, so we can just take them out and be individual. But you can see there's a little slot for the goggles to fit into but this headdress looks wild looks awesome the paintwork sculpt work looks great there's no scar going down the actual wolf's eyes so it's definitely not timber so nothing to worry about there anybody worried it was timber but yeah i just like the sculpt and the paintwork on this and it's it's pretty chunky it's a nice thick plastic we get it the same with the cape which has a port on the back to plug in the backpack so this will plug into the figure, backpack can plug into the pelt, and it doesn't stand out as much. Like, I'm zoomed in, but in hand, you really, the hole doesn't stand out. And again, the nice dry brushing, or the airbrushing that goes from a darker down, fades into the lighter, and the sculpt work. It's, it's awesome. This piece is pretty cool, and it's a nice touch, because then you can really customize your Snow Serpent how you want it. So if you've got a couple of these to army build, you can have one wearing this. The other one not, you can know, change it up. It makes the army builders fun. When it comes to the goggles and the headdress, you're going to want to pop the head off individually. So then you could slide the head up in there without it disturbing the goggles too much. Push from the bottom. Then you can straighten up the goggles a little bit on the head. And then basically, bam, you got it equipped. Grab your figure with the cape part put on. Pop the head, and you got yourself the full-on, equipped, warm, wolf-pelted Snow Serpent. Here we have an up-close look at Snow Serpent, and this figure pays homage to the original figure so much. I love how the helmet looks, the respirator part looks, the goggles, and it is, yes, it is weird that he wears goggles over goggles, but... You know, I would say when the other goggles are on, these ones probably are not. Um, and instead of them having two different head sculpts, they just did it this way. But tons of sculpt work and detail in the helmet. Definitely insulated to protect them from frostbite and all that type of stuff. But we also got the fur coming out the collar looking great. Got the classic navy blue harness. We got a Cobra logo. We got a little zipper there. Again, that Cobra logo looks so clean. I love it. We got the Snow Serpent logo on the other arm. Zipper, blue as well, keeping uniform. We got the fur and the gauntlets onto the gloves. They have a little bit of gray dry brushing on there to make them pop. We got actual sculpted in painted blue harness, which looks great. Gloves again. We got two holsters. For the pistols. So he's got side holsters for the pistols. And they look great. And then he's got the legs of, of Snow Job. Leading down to the little boots. But this figure is awesome. And looks great. And he's wide man. If you look at his like upper torso. Leading down to his, his pelvis area. Like that whole section. He is like a fridge. He's just wide, and he's just a big boy. Diving into some articulation. He's got the typical Joe articulation. He can lean his neck back and forth. As you can see, the neck is moving. The head can also move up and down. Pretty nice. Full rotation. A lot of attitude. So all your natural head movements. We do get a little bit of a butterfly in there. Nothing too crazy. You know, it's there. Uh, you can go up. Into a full T-pose, no issues of the fur hitting. He's got the bicep swivel, double-jointed elbows that get a nice range. Wrist rotation. We do get the vertical hinges on the gloves. We do get a sort of like hula hoop ab area. So you can move him around that way. And he has it down in the waist area as well. So you can get that movement. Do full spit splits. And then you got to adjust those drop-down hips as well. 
He's got the thigh cut. He can kick up that far. He sort of, it's like a diaper, so he can't really do like a full Spartan kick. You know, you really start getting, hindering the, the diaper part right here. And then uh, you do get a double jointed knee. The bend's pretty nice. And then we get the boot pivot right there. And we get some ankle bend and pivot as well. Now it's time for some comparison. We got ourselves the Snow Serpent with some fellow Cobra team members. We got Firefly, the Range Viper, the Arctic Bat. You can really see how well he scales with his teammates. You can also see how well he scales up against the enemy Joe team. And finally, you get to see how well Snow Serpent stacks up against Valiverse, Awok, and Street Gomez from Mezco. When it comes to these deluxe Snow Serpents, I had to army build them. You know, I usually army build with at least like five to three, depending on what figure they are. And, you know, with the eels, eels were the lowest ones I got. I got two of those because I just wanted a couple to fight Torpedo. I didn't feel like I needed a little squad of those. I just needed a duo. Um, but when it came to the Snow Serpents, Range Vipers, you know, Red Ninjas, stuff like that, I was like, I need to have at least five because I feel like that's just a good regiment. Plus, it makes great for figure photography and just displays. And one thing that Hasbro, besides knocking the Snow Serpent out of the park, Hasbro's doing a pretty good job with their army builders, with giving enough accessories that you can change them up enough to where they don't feel like the same figure over and over again. Sure, they're the exact same sculpt, paint, and everything, but as you can see, all five of these Snow Serpents, I have them set up differently. You know, I have the leader right here, full garb, snowboard. I just got a basic one with snowboard and a gun. Got the one with the goggles and bazooka. I got... You know, one with the, just an assault rifle. And then I got the one in the back just wearing the fur cape with two pistols. So you can really set up your army builders the way you want it where they're just not so clone-like. And that's something that they're doing. I mean, look at how Grunt came with that extra steel core head that you can army build him. You know, the range vipers, you can change up, take off the, the bandana or the bullets that are going across the chest. There's a lot of fun that you can have with these figures instead of they, um, them just being basically identical throughout. Um, even though that's sort of how the show had it in the comics because they were soldiers. They all were pretty uniform. But I like the customizing and the options that you have uh, for displaying these figures. And again, Hasbro knocked the Snow Serpent out of the park. I know that people looked at it and was like, oh, it's a deluxe. Look at the price. You get a lot for your dollar, in my opinion. And this figure is phenomenal. Hits you right in the nostalgia feels. I do wish it came with the mortar, but... It didn't. We'll get the retro carded one that will, and uh, then everybody will be even more happy. But either way, this figure is awesome. I love it. And that sums up my unboxing and review of G.I. Joe Classified Series Deluxe Snow Serpent. If you guys are liking my content, hit that like button. New to my channel, hit that subscribe button as it helps the channel evolve and grow. Make sure you guys hit the silver bell notification so you know when I post up a new video. When I go live for State of the Art every Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern, we talk about action figure news. We have toy creators on, have some fun guests on. So make sure you guys tune into that if you want to just hang out and chat and talk about action figures. And I want to send a huge shout out to my Unboxlings, all my members. I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart as that is definitely helping the channel evolve and grow as well. So look forward to some fun Unboxling content that I will be doing for you guys. And uh, we will be doing that Unboxling members only live stream at the end of the month. So I do thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Everybody that's been supporting this channel. I couldn't have made it this far without you guys.